Hey parents, let's talk about the power of your brain to de-escalate situations with your kids and teens. It all comes down to mirror neurons. You know when you see someone else yawn and then you yawn and you're thinking, I'm not tired, why am I yawning? I'm gonna yawn right now, just saying the word yawn. Uh, and you know when you see someone else getting you know, choked up and you feel yourself starting to tear up even though you don't have an emotional connection to the thing that they are um, feeling or uh, when panic spreads from person to person, those are mirror neurons. Um, it's also why when you're around people who are giving off joyful signals, you feel joyful. People who give off calm, you feel calm, right? Um, they can spread just as easily as panic can spread, and it's a beautiful thing. So you have the power to use those mirror neurons. When your kid or teen comes to you really upset, if you can give yourself a second, take a breath, calm yourself down, and mirror that calm for them and that peacefulness for them, or when they've done something and you're really angry with them, if you can try and keep yourself a little calmer, they're gonna be more responsive to the thing that you need to talk to them about. Um, you know, we've all been in a situation where, you know, we're having a good day and someone comes to us and says, you know, you left the milk out of the fridge. And I'll say, why are you yelling at me? And then you're thinking, why am I angry? I, I wasn't angry, but you're just bouncing off of each other. So use those mirror neurons to your advantage by reminding yourself that you have the power to change the tone of the interaction and to have things be more positive and more productive.